Congratulations to Dia Khan for this remarkable film, Muslims in Trump's America. I was elected to Congress in 2006, and at that time, there had never been a person who was Muslim in the United States Congress before. Today, I'm the Minnesota Attorney General, and I'm not in Congress. But there are three Muslims in Congress, and two of them are women. Even during Trump's hate-filled uh, vitriol, which he aimed at many sources, including the Muslim community, the uh, Muslim community has continued to organize, to increase political power, to show up in diverse places on the American political landscape. As he is pushing hate, the Muslim community is organizing and making an even greater contribution to our society, not just in politics, but as Dia has proven, in arts, in culture, and in the world of film. You know, the fact is as bad as Trump's behavior is, and as ugly as uh, his supporters, uh, some of them have been, the fact is, is that the fortunes of the Muslim community in America are continuing to improve. Dia is proof of that. So Dia, thank you and congratulations. This is an important film at a critical time. To be Muslim today, you have a target on your back. And what's heightened it now has been the Trump administration. They're trying to take over our children and convince them how wonderful ISIS is and how wonderful Islam is. We have to look at the Muslims and we have to do something. I'm so scared for my children, their future, and what's going to happen. This is the country my kids were born, and I'm afraid for my children. This country is so divided right now. All it takes is one spark. This is the agenda of white nationalists. And now it's reached the White House. What do we want? Justice! What do we want? Justice! I'm tired of seeing people like me die. This shows you that if human beings come together, there's nothing we can't do. I am fighting for myself. I am fighting for the next generation. We have to find a way to not only coexist, but respect each other. I am deeply humbled and grateful to the Peabody jury for this incredible honor. I would like to thank ITV, Kevin Ligo, Michael Jeremy, and Tom Giles for supporting me and believing in me all these years. And I would like to thank everyone at Fuse Films who worked on this project, who've made all of this possible in the first place. And most of all, I would like to thank everyone who was willing to share their stories and their points of view so open-heartedly in this documentary. The reason I wanted to explore what it's like to be Muslim in America today is in recent years we've seen a sharp uptick in violence and hate crimes against Muslims. And I wanted to take a closer look at the connection between that and the public discourse that surrounds Muslims in, in the US and the political rhetoric that we've been hearing over the last several years where politicians have been weaponizing the fears that some Americans have of Muslims, where they've been weaponizing the divisions and the polarization that exists within our societies. So I am just profoundly grateful uh, for this recognition and I would like to dedicate this award to everyone who so courageously shared their stories and their experiences in this documentary. So thank you so very much for this. Thank you.